What's up guys, my name is Tyler and in this video I'm going to show you how to get 8 gigabytes of RAM, um, two 4 gigabyte sticks installed in the 13 inch 2010 model uh, MacBook Pro. Um, so basically the problem with this model here is that it takes um, DDR3 1066 megahertz RAM um, that's the highest it supports um, so basically what you can do is uh, the default I think it comes with is uh, two 2 gigabyte sticks to get you 4 gigabytes running at that 1066 megahertz speed um, you can swap one of those sticks and just put one of these 4 gigabyte sticks in here um, if you're like me I wasn't careful I thought that this uh, 1333 megahertz RAM would of course work with my MacBook no issues um, it does work if you use one stick you can get 6 gigabytes basically the uh, default 2 gigabyte stick in there is going to cause this one to get down clock to its speed of 1066 megahertz which is all fine and dandy for the MacBook but uh, if you're like me I bought my sticks separately I didn't buy them in a package or anything and did not check to see if they would be compatible with this MacBook um, <clears throat> and it turns out it looks like a lot of people are running into this issue um, but uh, basically to fix, to render this problem, what you're going to have to do is, uh, is basically flash your memory here to one of these sticks at least to run at that default 1066 megahertz speed and kind of uh, pull the same trick that you can achieve when you run six, uh, six gigabytes in this model. And uh, as long as you do that to so just one of these guys, one of your four gigabyte sticks, you better put both of them in there, get you eight gigabytes. Um, up and running. Um, I guess to prove that. Let me get, go ahead and show it to you here, real quick. Here it is. So as you can see, I've already done it on my machine. Got the eight gigabytes in there. Um, uh, so basically, what you'll need to do this, of course, is your MacBook Pro. Um, by default, probably only got the two two gigabyte sticks for four gigabytes. Grab yourself some new RAM. Um, again, it really shouldn't even have to be uh, that picky, um, in my opinion. I don't know. This is kind of a really weird issue to deal with here, but nonetheless, uh, grab your uh, two sticks here. Um, I got mine at Best Buy for about thirty-five bucks each. Really good price. Um, sugary beverage of your choice, of course, and uh, you also want some small screwdrivers here um, because the next step here is going to be. To go ahead and open it all up here you'll see there's 10 screws around the edges of your MacBook here so what you'll want to do is go ahead and unscrew those they can be kind of tight um, I had to really give these guys some torque whenever I first opened it but you want to unscrew all those guys and open up this back plate here so I'm going to go ahead and unscrew these guys and do it a bit faster with two hands here. Okay, so once you've unscrewed all the screws, the back plate comes off real easy. Just lift it off. You'll see everything in the computer, battery, hard drive, optical drive, your motherboard, and of course RAM down here. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, or I guess I mentioned earlier, is that we're going to need to flash one of our sticks here and I just spilled my screws everywhere lovely so uh, don't be like me and because these are tiny little screws and you don't want to get them lost in the carpet there but I'll pick them up later so um, as I was saying uh, we just have to flash one of these sticks to run at the 1066 megahertz speed which will be compatible with our MacBook here um, to do that you have a couple of options um, you're gonna have to use some the only option I found is using some Windows software to do it so basically what that means is you're gonna wanna have boot camp set up on your computer and boot into your Windows partition and run that software um, and I'll show you that in the next video uh, actually running the software and flashing the RAM um, but so you can either do the boot camp way uh, if you've already got a boot camp set up that's great if you're like me still got the stock hard drive and it's only got a few gigabytes left um, so I was boot camp was basically not an option. Um, plus, it's time consuming, and I'm really lazy, or rather, just like to figure out better ways of doing things. So um, basically, the way I did this was 
booting to a uh, bootable Windows disk here. Um, to basically got a copy of uh, Windows Windows Vista um, on this disk that I can boot to on any computer. Basically put that in, have full access to the hard drive, uh, do all kinds of things. Um, but it's it's the important thing is that it runs Windows. Um, so you, basically, uh, one of the one of the good ways to do that is uh, by downloading what's called Bart's PE uh, environment, and that's a pre-installed environment, and it will allow you to take one of your copies of XP or Vista, or uh, I think Seven as well. Um, and uh, go ahead and, and put that onto a bootable disk that you can burn and then go ahead and boot to. Um, and I'll have a link up for that uh, in, the, in the comments. Okay, so after you've uh, burned your BART PE CD here, what you're then going to want to do is go ahead and replace one of your sticks of RAM. Now if you've never done this um, it's really easy. You can do it with one hand kinda here. But it's easiest if you have two. But basically pull these two tabs apart there. You'll see the RAM here. Be kinda delicate with it but it just slides right out. And uh, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is leave your stock two gigabyte stick in there and just put one of your four gigabyte sticks inside of here. Make sure you line up the notch here with the little notch there. Stick it in and close it shut. Yes, yeah, see it's closed shut, nice and tight. Um, and that's it. So basically right now we've got six gigs in there, a two gigabyte and a four gigabyte um, is what you'll want to have. And then, just put your cover back on here. Put your cover back on. Flip her over. Uh, you can put some screws back in if you want, but I didn't do it. So, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Also, make sure you have plenty of battery or you're plugged in. Get your uh, bootable CD ready. Go ahead and hit your power button here, and then you're going to want to hold down the option key. So power it on, hold down option here, let it boot up, and keep holding it down until you see the little mouse. We'll go ahead and put in our disk there, and wait for it to load up. See it pop up mouse over and uh, go ahead and press enter for windows there and that will boot up into your uh, PE environment okay so once you've booted up to um, your pre-installed environment you're going to want to copy that typhoon burner program to a flash drive and go ahead and plug it in then navigate over to it and run it and that will start it up here. What we're gonna do is, uh, well, you'll notice that it's it's blank. It doesn't have any info in there. So just come up to here and hit read. And you're gonna select the slot that your memory's in. Um, we'll see. I don't know the PNY, the RAM that I bought is in 51H here. So we'll have it load up there. And then you'll see on the side here. You can verify, make sure it's the right manufacturer, and uh, as you can see, I've already clocked mine down uh, to the 533 megahertz. Um, yours won't probably won't say that, um, but uh, to change it to that guy, what you'll do now is hit the editor right there, and then change this guy to 15 right here. So the min SD RAM cycle time default for my RAM was 12 oops 12 right there so which is 666 megahertz but what you want is 15 get you the 533 megahertz and uh, you'll see that it changes the all the CAS latencies down here 
as well. So presumably I'm guessing that's the supported version there. So change that guy to 15 and you'll hit next. And then you've got a few options here. Uh, what it's going to do is go ahead and save your current image to a file and then write it. So uh, the other thing to be careful is uh, selecting your proper slot here. Let me see if I can get that. You'll notice it's uh, on 50H by default. That's my other RAM that doesn't have a problem. So I'll need to change that to the RAM that I'm trying to write. So instead of... Oh, Or actually, okay. I understand this a bit better now. So actually what you want to do, you can have it save it to a file, but also what I'd do is just actually go ahead and save your current configuration. It'll probably say 666 megahertz down there instead of 533. Um, so that'll be the default configuration. Go ahead and save that away. Um, uh, on your flash drive here, so I'll save mine. You can see I've already saved mine, the default configuration there, so go ahead and save that. And uh, then go back into the, your editor. Make sure you set this guy to 15. Timings 533 megahertz. That looks good. Hit next. Now, what you'll want to do is instead use this bottom option reprogram SPD EEP ROM with new SPD data and make sure you select the right slot this time. So that's why we couldn't select it earlier. We had to, uh, to choose this option. Select the correct slot. Hit apply. I'm not going to do it on mine because I've already done it, although it probably wouldn't hurt it. Um, so I'm just going to close out of it there. Um, but just hit apply at the bottom. You'll see it go across and uh, write the information in there. And it will refresh the screen here. And then you'll see it save about 33 megahertz down there. And that's exactly what you want. And um, you should just have to do it to one of these because uh, your other your other stick... If you're trying to run uh, 8 gigabytes like I am, two 4 gigabyte sticks, your other stick will automatically downclock to match this guy, which is actually what I'm doing right now. I've got 6 gigabytes in there right now. The uh, a default 2 gigabyte and this uh, 4 gigabyte that I've just reprogrammed. So that's it. That's how you get the uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM here and the 2010, mid 2010, 13 inch MacBook Pro. Um, pretty much should work for just about any computer that, that has this problem. Um, all you need is this program here, Typhoon Burner. So that's where all the magic is. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you found it helpful.